Welcome to the vlog. So I'm out today going to do some interval training. And uh, I'm out on the canal. And you can see it's a pretty good straightaway. And we've got these giant electrical poles along the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprint across two of them. And then take in between two poles as a rest. And then I'm going to sprint another two poles, take a rest, and then sprint the last two poles. So I should be able to do three sprints. And uh, they're pretty far apart. Um, I mean, they're probably close to five or 600 feet apart, maybe 150 to 200 meters apart. So it's gonna be a really good workout. And I'm gonna try to do uh, three sets of three. Um, so a total of nine sprints. And in between, I'll probably take like a two minute, nah, probably closer to a five minute break. Uh, Five minutes, I think, gives me a really good recovery time. I feel really strong um, after the five minutes where I can feel I can give a solid three another sprints because these are these are a weakness of mine, so I kind of need a little bit extra time. So let's get into it. So I did the first set of three. I find that the first set is really the most difficult. I gave it like a 20 minute warm up to get where I am, but I still feel like it doesn't get the blood pumping as enough. But it's nice just to get it out of the way. I mean, it's a minute of really hard work, so not including the rest. So it's easy to just bang them out, get them done. I'm gonna do a couple laps. Ooh, rest the legs. All right, I'm gonna give it one little cool down lap on the way back and then sprint it back up here. Second set done. We'll get it in another five or minute. So rest. We'll do our last set of three. These poles are a little bit closer together than the four street lights. I think two poles width is probably three street lights. So it's a little bit shorter of a sprint distance. So I think that's why I'm able to do a third, a third set of three. Whew. Regardless though, I'm feeling it. Feels good. That's it for today's workout. That was pretty tough. I feel like the distance of these poles is a little bit too close. I mean, it's definitely a hard workout, but compared to uh, the street light poles, I can definitely tell the distance a little bit shorter. But yeah, I'm starting to really like these sprints. It's nice to get out and just do work and then be done. So this work, whoa. This workout's about 45 minutes, so super quick. 
April 1st, I've got a road race, the Tour de Mesa, it's about 60 miles. So I've got plenty of base miles for that. Uh, I don't have a team, so I'm hoping I can latch on to a good group uh, and just kind of ride the tail or I wouldn't mind taking some turns if you got a decent sized group. And then April 8th and 9th are actually my next crits. So I forget the names of them, but it's a Saturday, Sunday. <clears throat> so I'm definitely super excited to those. I know this interval training is really gonna help me compared to my last race, which I did very little crit specific training for. So all these sprints are gonna be really nice. I mean, my legs already feel much better. And then um, also from the last race, I actually have a, a front GoPro mount for my bike. So I'll be able to actually get some in-race footage in my last race, it was just kind of watching the replay from kind of the sidelines, so the footage was kind of terrible from that aspect, but I'm super excited for the on-bike footage. It's really going to, one, help me study film and kind of learn what mistakes I made and how to improve, and overall just learning, but at the same time make better uh, race, you know, vlogs. So I'm super excited for that. I got a rush of subscribers after that little cheese video, so. I'm excited for the next one. Let me know if you've got a favorite crit, workout, maybe a sprint specific training plan. You know, hit me up in the comments below. Send me a Facebook message. I definitely need as much help as I can get, so. Woo! Hope you enjoyed the ride. Be safe.